Welcome back. DJ Shauna's documentary Dare to Be made its debut last Friday. She joins us live to talk a little bit more about that process and making this five part documentary come to life. So as we know, episode one already on your YouTube page, it's called Finding Myself. And you talk and I love that you talk about this, not wanting to fit into society's mold for girls, for women. Yeah. How was filming that? Ooh. It's emotional, it's hard. It's something I still personally struggle with every day. I mean, it really does bring tears to my eyes, but if you watch the episode and you know my mom, um, I'm so grateful to have the core family that I do and that I did growing up that supported me and loved me. And you'll see that everything started at home for me and the rest of it was just noise. And we know that every single episode is going to air on Friday, right? Yes. So th this Friday will be episode number two. And I know we hear from your mom, from Beth, in the first episode a little bit. But in this one, I, I saw a little sneak peek that you posted. Yep. Like you said, it's a lot of emotion. And it's sometimes, Shauna, something that is difficult to talk about. Yeah. Like that being able to, to come out to your family, to have those conversations. Yeah. Do you hope that this inspires others? I do. I think it, the, the overall embracing theme of it is dare to be. And it is to inspire you to be your absolute best self in whatever capacity that might be. If you watch this and you're inspired by me and you see something of yourself in me or you see something of yourself in my mom or you see something in Alando Tucker that's going to be in this next episode, one of my favorite Wisconsin Badgers professional athletes, Coach Caroline Keeger. I could go on and on. Teaspoon, Natisha Heideman played at Marquette. There's so many amazing people that are part of my story and created me. And that's the ultimate goal is like, I am not me without all of these amazing people that surround me. It goes back to the whole, it takes a village. Yeah, absolutely. And I want to talk a little bit how all of this came to be, right? We're talking yeah. about Heartland Group who came up to you, said, hey, we want to do this. And, and this all happened virtually. It did. So that's an amazing thing. So shout out to my team at Heartland, um, Keith and Jonah and Elliot, because I've never met them in real life. And that makes me smile. It's such a timely piece of content that has just been a collaborative effort and these three guys believed in me and my story and this was solely their idea and when they pitched this to me as we're watching like the b-roll stuff it makes me smile so much because it's just a a cool collaboration and i'm so grateful for them they pitched this idea again they believed in me and they thought that this was an important story to tell and to have candidly three white men believe in me and, and to raise me up and to give me that platform was, it makes me very, very emotional and beyond humbled and grateful. If you could talk to 10 year old Shauna. Oh, don't do that. Dear. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say to her? Ooh, um, yeah, Lindsay, right? <laughs> Keep going. It's, um, be you. I think, uh, that's the thought. The thing is I'm finding, um, I'm really sorry. So much joy in being authentically myself and people like yourself and Channel 12 and this city and the Bucks and my fam. I could go on. The list goes on. The NCAA, um, my yeah. manager, Chad, yeah. people who have embraced me and supported me and loved me. And that's something I have found and been taught is to lead with love. And it's so it's crazy to be sitting here as authentically me, not pretending to be anything else yeah, and absolutely. to share that and hopefully to inspire you again yeah. dare to be absolutely and you know going off of what you just said there yep. love leads the way we know that the lgbtq community has been through a lot specifically in colorado springs with the shooting at the lgbtq club <laughs> what message do you have Ooh. to the lgbtq community where you have to remain strong you have to remain as one force we do and it's a community it's not just the the members that identify as LGBTQI or plus, it's our allies, it's everybody involved. As we know, it, again, it takes a village and it takes a community and to understand resources like the Trevor Project and things like that and to know that you're not alone and that you matter. And I don't know which camera to look at right now, but I wanna tell you <laughs> that I see you and you matter and your story matters and we are here for you and you are not alone. It's beautifully said. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being so vulnerable, so open. Thank you. Um, let's go ahead and remind everyone that five-part documentary is going to be on DJ Shauna's YouTube page. You can find it on WISN.com slash links. That new episode will air on Friday. That is episode number two, and they'll continue to air until December 23rd. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. I hope of you have course. a great day. Thank